At St. Francis High School in La Cañada, California, hey, there's something to be said about yeah, math teacher off, Jim O'Connor. Substitute back for Y. The question is, what is that something? Or round it. When you think of him, does the word love come to mind? Obviously not. He's very, uh... For whatever reason, none of these definitely. kids would tell me what they really think of him. Oh, what's the word? Yeah, none of the boys have come in here and said, oh, God, we have hated him, you know, at times. Nobody said that. I wonder why. He's going to be seeing this, right? Oh, yeah, oh, that's why. <laughs> Truth is, Mr. O'Connor can be a bit of a drudge. You don't know what you're doing. But the 70-year-old Vietnam vet says he's not here to entertain his students. It drives me crazy when people say school should be fun. I mean, it's nice if it could be, but you can't make school fun. E to the KT times E to the C. And for years. Okay. The kids thought that's all there was to him, until last November, when senior Pat McGoldrick learned they didn't know the half of him. Pat was in charge of a student blood drive and had just come here to Children's Hospital Los Angeles for a meeting. He says it was weird. Whenever he told someone he went to St. Francis High School, they all said, oh, you must know Jim O'Connor. Isn't he wonderful? Wonderful? What? Like, you know, they didn't, it was disbelief, really. It's almost like kind of finding this alter ego that he has. Inside the blood donor center, Pat found a plaque listing all the top blood donors at the hospital, including the record holder, Jim O'Connor. Then he learned something even more unbelievable, that whenever Mr. O'Connor isn't torturing kids with calculus, he's on a whole nother tangent, cuddling sick babies. Come on, you can talk to me. Three days yeah. a week for the past 20 years, Jim has volunteered here, what? stepping in when parents can't to hold, feed, and comfort their children. So low. Nurse Erin Schmidt says he's invaluable. They tend to calm for him. They tend to relax with him. They fall asleep with him. I just like them and relate to them somehow. Is that a smile? That Jim's a smile? never been married. He has no kids of his own. Yeah but he has fallen hard for these babies. I don't want to see him alone. You can't do that. You're not a tough guy at all. I know, but don't, don't tell my students. <laughs> if you do the calculation... Sometimes you think you know someone, but you don't have the slightest. Sometimes you think you're learning calculus, but the real lesson is life. I've always like respected him. Um, but now it's an even a, a different degree, really, is to the point where I, where I try to emulate him. He's the epitome of a man of service. What you doing? 